Yo, I'm I'm literally on a fucking cliff right now. Yeah. So where do I start? Uh, I'm gonna put you guys right here. Chill with me. I wanted to bring you to my morning spot where I typically do some brainstorming in the morning for sunrise. You can literally see the surfers here and I get some interesting ideas. And one of the ideas I've recently got here has to do with cancel culture being relatively healthy. I think that so much of my life as a YouTuber and creator, if you're watching this and you make videos, you would understand. Like, we're trying to avoid criticism. We're trying to avoid people not liking us. Like, that's the number one thing I try to do. The way I look about this is actually a story. And this story has to do with Charlie D'Amelio. If you guys don't know, Charlie, I'm also, by the way, sitting on a cliff um, right now because <laughs> I want to get a shot, but now, like, I'm literally risking my life. But um, make sure you give this video a like, I guess, if you're so far enjoying it. Okay, so Charlie D'Amelio, right? She has 100 million followers. This girl has, you know, a little scandal where she says she doesn't like eating a snail. And the entire internet was like, oh my God, like Charlie is so unthinkful. But you know, I realized like these behaviors that people put on blast is something that everyone does. I've done that. My mom gives me fucking spaghetti and I'm like, Ugh. you know, like I have done that same reaction before. And a lot of the internet in general just blows out of proportion where it dehumanizes influencers. And that's where I was thinking like, you know, that's an example of criticism that isn't necessarily helpful. And it's just nitpicking on someone's success. And so my friend Gianna, which I had the opportunity to chat with was, you know, talking with me about like her point of view because she ended up commenting on this whole drama situation. Gianna is a creator with 2 million followers and she creates like distracts. Found a singer on TikTok that's even worse than me. I hit you with the block when you're on my FYP. So I was like, you have a really interesting perspective because Gianna creates like canceling like videos on her account. My opinion is like I what a lot of people are saying now like to hold someone accountable and not cancel them. I think if someone does something really horribly bad yeah. then yeah like they shouldn't have a platform like if you're a murderer or like Zoe Laverne <laughs> then then yeah because I feel like at a certain point like you, you don't know if someone's ever going to change from that behavior but in terms of messing up like I think people forget that everyone messes up and like if everyone watched every move that you made like people would cancel you too everyone would be canceled so I don't think like unless someone does something super bad I don't think there's a point of canceling I think it's better to comment and tell people why they did something wrong because a lot of times I think people don't even notice that they did something that's wrong so it's better to tell them why so that they don't do it again and just see if like if they don't end up doing anything offensive again or anything bad like that same way then it shows they really did you know regret that behavior and they learned from it so they shouldn't be canceled do you feel like your content is canceling other people or do you think it's more lighthearted? like in the context of like trisha paytas hey trisha paytas this is for you stop attacking charlie you're just acting dramatic you're literally the blueprint for being problematic what happened so the whole situation with trisha started started when charlie and dixie d'amelio were getting canceled over their dinner video and they started getting a lot of hate and so then trisha paytas was making videos about them and they specifically asked, is she like we don't like who is she she i don't really even understand she's a troll i think i think she's always trolling and sometimes she'll like claim that she changed and she's not offensive anymore and then you hear something of her being offensive again so that's i guess her brand this is just saying things that will get a reaction from people for yeah. views and so in this situation like she was coming after charlie and i don't think she actually felt that passionately about what charlie did i think she just knew it would get her views if she talked about it but then charlie was saying you know she was getting death threats from it and serious things and asked trisha to stop and trisha still didn't stop so i kind of did the same thing like inserting myself where i had nothing to <laughs> but I was like, okay, I'm, if I'm making these tracks, I a I knew like Trisha wouldn't care because I know she just does stuff for views. So I wasn't trying to like hurt her feelings, which is what she was doing to Charlie. And I kind of was just like, okay, like I felt like everyone was against Charlie at this point, and I personally didn't think she did anything wrong. So I wanted to make a video like explaining, like, no, in this situation, Charlie didn't really do anything. Trisha's the one who's going after her for no reason, bullying someone way younger than her. So that's how that started. So then I made that first diss track. And and I was kind of like, I was egging her on. Honestly, I was in her comments like, did you see my diss track? Because I didn't think it was that bad. So I was like, okay, let me see if she sees it. So then she made three videos uh, roasting me in response. Three. Mm -hmm. Trisha was on Charlie. 
you were on Trisha. Now Trisha's on you. <laughs> do you consider yourself canceling Trisha or do you consider that more just like, cause like, yeah, you know, what do you consider that behavior? I would say my diss tracks are more commentary cause some of them are just a joke. Like some of the people I'm, I'm roasting, I'm actually like really good friends with. Right. And so I don't have a problem with them, whatever. But with Trisha, it's more like I was just giving my take on the situation. I wasn't trying to cancel her. Cause I just don't think like, I don't think I'm the person that should go around and say who should be canceled and not canceled canceled but I just wanted to give my opinion right now a lot of people are trying trying to cancel me because they, they don't realize that I'm like friends with the people that I'm dissing so they think I'm just being mean to them even if like literally one of my videos like my friend commented oh do me next and so it, I did a video reply to that comment people were still like oh you're bullying them but I usually send my videos for approval to my friends first I'm like oh do you want me to take anything out is anything off limits when I want to use my platform for something other than entertainment and like speak about my opinions I like get scared to talk about things because I don't I don't know everything like, especially like with things like politics like I don't I'm the first to say I don't know everything there is <laughs> I try to learn as much as I can and like every day I try to like if I hear a term that I haven't heard before I'll do my research but like it's the type of thing where if you say one thing wrong people might take it the wrong way and then you get canceled or but like the main thing is I don't even care that much about being canceled but I, d I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or yeah. be offensive so that's the thing like it's hard to balance like you want to speak out about issues that are important to you but then but then if you're so afraid of being canceled you're afraid of saying the wrong saying exactly. something wrong coming out the wrong way. Yeah. And then it's even worse when you don't say anything. Some people will cancel you for not saying anything. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Exactly. So you're kind of stuck. So when do you think cancel culture is like helpful criticism to stop bad behavior versus just plain bullying? Like, is there a difference? Because some people think your distracts are just straight up canceling people, which maybe you have a different interpretation. Like, when do you think it's actually helpful versus like rude? I think that it's helpful if th the main thing you're addressing is like the person's behavior and the action. If you're like, I've seen some of my friends get canceled and then like people cancel them because they didn't like their actions, but then they start attacking like their looks or like oh. personal family things, which I think like that's, uh, I'm just laughing because I like feel bad and I'm uncomfortable not laughing at that. But um, I, I don't, I think that's where you draw the line. Like I'm not going to go after someone's family and not going to like bully them for their appearance. I, I don't think that's right. So I think that if the main thing you're talking about is the specific action they did, like how they could have gone about it better or like what you think is a better response, I think that's fine. YouTube is lonely and creators need, they don't know everything. And I really believe that like, if we can change this narrative of like, let's be like kind with our words, help people out that maybe don't have people to give them like mentorship and feedback. I think cancel culture is healthy. And I'm honestly afraid to get canceled talking about cancel culture on this video, but that's just my point of view, just because I learned so much from you guys. I learned so much from people that don't necessarily always say yes to me. And I know that's so strange because I always crave like validation of like from my boyfriends to like, like me or my best friends to make sure they tell me that like I'm a good friend. But I think there's something so important about people in your life telling you, this is what you did wrong. You don't have to listen to me, but I think you can improve. And that's just that. I guess if you're wanting to take anything away from this video, it's just that like, you know, go ahead and comment, cancel me in a healthy way. Like I want to be better. I don't know everything. The people that know everything are the most obnoxious. And I don't want to be that person because I was catching myself this year. I'm, you know, being my channel, being very like internet analysis oriented and educational. I found myself being a little bitch. Like I was, you know, not taking any feedback, only making content that I thought was good. And of course I should listen to my own head and like my own thoughts, but like I know that I can learn from you guys. So, you know, keep giving feedback. If you like this video, let me know what I could do better. Like give me suggestions on who to collab with, you know, whatever you guys, you know, think I can do better. I would so appreciate it. And I encourage you to ask your friends like, hey, like what can I do better in my friendship? Like I'm gonna apply this shit to anything. Like I think we can learn so much from each other. And it's not about like, you know, someone having more followers giving me advice. It's like you guys are my homies and forever will be the Dharma Nation. So like y'all tell me what you guys want and like improve my videos because so often I'm chasing like, you know, like a YouTube strategy that will go viral. But and honestly, I don't want to go viral. I just want to build a community with you guys and just make you like slightly entertained and have a laugh or just learn something new. So I love you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. I'm gonna probably move off this cliff because <laughs> I, w I thought it was aesthetic, but this is just a safety hazard. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye, Darmanation.